Ooh, okay, y'all. Welcome back. Mally's on the VR in my room. The door's closed, but he's loud AF on that thing. It drives me nuts, but I'm trying to let him, you know, enjoy himself and the stuff that we provide. So, real quick video. Um, I have two um, SOGs that came in from Coach. And then I only have three more that are coming in in the next couple days. So I will show you guys when they come in. And then I have a Vicky's um, bag here and then a Sheen bag. They did come in in the middle of the day. I was at work. I cannot wait. So I couldn't do like a true unboxing. But I'm just going to show you guys the goodies that I got. So this I actually got. Let me tell y'all the story about this. Y'all ready? Story time. This video is not going to be super long like the last one. But... <laughs> quick story time about this wristlet this is the new Layla purple the iris that um, collection that I've been showing you guys um, the unboxings I'm still waiting on my sheen order of um, little uh, back charms to come in so I can put it on the zipper but I did already cut the wristlet strap off I actually didn't get this from coach I didn't know that this collection was dropping I didn't know that this wristlet was in the store um, if you know some people stores have has it I'm not sure if mine had it or not when I went recently to get the six key holder for my mom I did not see this but I actually got this off Macari I paid pretty much retail so maybe that person got it on sale I don't know but it was brand new with tags um, I saw it and I was like wait I need that that looks like perfect Layla purple of course there's no way to find out for sure until I get it but when it got here it was perfect Layla purple it is in the cross grain leather it's just the solid Lay the purple it does have the zipper track with the silver hardware so this of course goes with all the wonderful collection um that just dropped i haven't cleaned up the boutique yet so my mountain of beautifulness is still sitting here next to me so as you can see this is the exact same purple and again i apologize for malachi and his screaming so that's one of the SOGs that I needed to show you guys. And then this one actually came in the mail today. This is the medium ID zip wallet. This is one of my favorite wallets. If I want a medium size wallet, this is definitely my go-to by coach. I do have a couple of these. I did a video showing my collection of these a while back and I do still use these from time to time. So on the inside, you do have black. I love that it's the smooth leather. I prefer that any day over the cross grain. Um, if this is your first time seeing this wallet, it does open up wide and flat like a book um, on this side you've got credit card slots you've got open slit here there's no open slit right here more credit card slots your ID window you have an opening behind the zipper pouch and then the zipper pouch of course you can put coins or whatever else you like plus you have your large area in the back pocket for your cash or if you wanted to lay coupons or receipts in there you could so of course I had to pick this up this is my favorite medium ID zip wallet and we talking about that Layla purple yes please give it here so add that to the collection and then from Vicky's what had happened was <laughs> I know I said in my haul video y'all can have all y'all pink y'all can have it I don't need it but this I had already placed the order for so don't come for me in the comments I had already ordered this and y'all know it is that new hot pink collection I do hope that they come out with the smaller wallet and or the card holder this is the larger wallet and that light is bright coming through that window um see I'm trying to get the true to color look uh, what if I move it what if I move this over here away from the window nope let me see something that's much better this is more of a true to color pink um, it does have a beautiful gold zipper hardware. This is what the pool looks like. It is super super pretty. All I'm doing is using my um, curtain. I kind of have it pulled out. I didn't pull the clear tab off yet, but that's what it looks like. I have the curtain pulled out to try and block some of the light coming through that window. I opened up the boutique area and moved the shoe stand from blocking the window. And I love, the whole family loves how it brings so much light to this area up in the upstairs area in between our bedrooms. Um, but I'm noticing for some of the filming, it's definitely making things look a little darker. Um, I mean, a little lighter, like too bright. So let me take out some of this stuff so you can see. All right, so it's a full zip wallet. So you have all your credit card slots on this side. You have the large, um, I can get my fingernail back there. You have the large slip pocket behind the credit card slot. Same thing on the other side. Then you have the two big open areas and then you have a um, zipper pocket in the middle for any coins or anything. This one has like a pleather 
because um, you know this Vicky stuff is usually not real leather, it's faux leather. So you have your um, faux leather pull tab. This is the size tab that I wish the um, larger coach wallets did have so that it wouldn't be, you know, so hard to pull. Um, but this is in that quilted um, kind of texture and that beautiful hot pink color. This wallet I want to say is 80, but as I've told you before, with all the Vicky's rewards and everything that I have, I only paid 30 for mine. Um, let me see something, try and show you guys the zipper in this one. The zipper that comes on this medium ID wallet is a perfect size for these inner zipper pockets. This is the zipper that I wish came inside of the um, other coach wallets that I was telling you comes really, really skinny, but you know, you get what you get. But anywho, full zip around wallet from Vicky's. And then, of course, y'all know I had to pick up that strap. It is so pretty. I like to use it on my AirPods since I don't do the ball of keys. Love, love, love these straps here. I love how you have the different shades of pink and the bling is in that beautiful silver color. So that will definitely be cute. I'm thinking I'm going to do either a pink and denim setup or maybe a pink and black. I don't know yet. There's so many options. Opportunities are just endless. I love it. Then I did go ahead and pick up the blue navy one since I do have navy bags as well as denim bags and plus the first two V's were purple. Shades of Layla purple at that. Give it here. So I did go ahead and pick up this strap as well. Super super cute. Both of those were 20. Nothing was on sale. Um and my rewards, I don't know why, like it took off maybe two or three dollars off of the straps, but it most of the money came off the wallet. And then I did go ahead and pick up the charm as well. So this is the hot pink VS charm. Let me pull the curtain for this. See if that helps a little bit. All right, so this is true. Yep, that's true to color. I love how the back is like a medium shade of pink. You know, sometimes when these are on your your purses or bags and they tend to flip around a lot, I love when the back is something that I like as well. This way, if it does flip around, it's not gonna harm anything. This one was also $20, I'm sorry, $18 full price um, for this one. Um, but of course, I paid, you know, a couple dollars less than that with all the rewards. And that is actually everything from my Vicky's bag. So now I'm going to show you guys my sheen order. And hopefully I did not have that bag facing the other way with my address on it. Hope not. So I'm going to find something to blur it. Again, these came while I was at work. Actually, it was the tail end of my lunch hour. I grabbed this out of the mailbox right before my timer went off for my lunch hour. And I was like, shoot, wish this would have came sooner. But, you know, mail lady comes when she comes. So I just had to rip this open. <laughs> <laughs> when I could um, this is a cute little Tom and Jerry set this is kind of like a mesh type of pouch but it's different it feels almost like a beach bag um, to me the bottom is pretty substantial so let me show you guys how it fits I was looking for some more yellow pouches since I don't have a whole lot I thought I would pick this one up I thought this one be a good size for a catch-all this is the width from the side. I want to say this set was like $5 or $6. It was something great. And then this one is a smaller pouch. It is a PVC pouch. It's uh, essentially about the size of the Coach um, wristlet that I love to use for my lady pouch. So this could be a lady pouch option, but I also ordered this um, in the um, bright yellow with this new um, neon release. So I'm hoping to use the actual coach wristlet as is the way that I love to use it. And this can be used for something else. Like, you know, if I wanted to separate my makeup and put my lip glosses or lip liner or whatever in here, I can, or just use it for anything else at the time. Hold receipts, you never know. But I love um, that yellow from the Tom and Jerry. And I actually had saw this first and already put it in the cart and I just ended up checking out without taking it out. But this is just another PVC pouch. It has lemons all over it. If you guys remember, I have the Louis Vuitton Neverfull from the boutique in the pink and yellow by the pool collection ombre. And so I've called that bag pink lemonade. So anytime I'm looking for yellow things to go in there, I also always keep my eye out for anything that's actual lemons. And I thought this would be super cute. So I'm trying to like pump it up a little bit so you can see. So it's like the usual two inch wide bottom from here to here. And then it does have a yellow um zipper track and essentially just you know clear pvc pouch with um lemons all over it so another great option as a catch-all if i want to use this or if i want to use the tom and jerry i definitely could um i'm kind of looking at the bag from here i think the yellow and the tom and jerry would go a little bit better with the pink lemonade bag 
Um, and the lemons may go with a different yellow setup. We'll see. But y'all know Sheen's, you know, prices is amazing. So I don't regret picking that up at all. Next, I have this little cutie patootie. I've been kind of checking TJ Maxx, Burlington, Ross Marshalls, you know, the stores I like to call our stores, um, for some more of their little um, travel pouches to, um, you know, tackle your cords. But I haven't found one. I found one for Jazz quite a few months back and I haven't been able to find another one. So I picked this one up for Mally. On the back, it does have this little mesh pocket. And then of course, as you can see, it looks like plug and power on the front. You've got a white zipper track, zipper pull. And on the inside, it just opens like so. And it's a big open space, nothing's on this wall. And then on this wall, there is one slip pocket. So this is great for him to be able to um, hold his cords for his AirPods, as well as um, his phone. And um, why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? What else does he normally have plugged up? Is that it? Yeah, I guess I'm tripping because he normally wears the big headphones, but I got really tired of the top of it denting in his hair and making him look crazy. So we finally got him some, you know, Amazon pods <laughs> so he can put it in his ear and not mess up his hair. This little cutie I picked up for the travel first aid pouch. I normally just kind of put it in whatever pouch is available and I was using this light teal kind of mesh um, pouch that came from like a Walmart bundle, but I saw this little cutie patootie for a dollar and some change. So I was like, mm hmm, add to cart. They didn't listen. Before you show out, Emily, baby sis, they didn't have purple. So I did get the pink one. As you can see, it's got the white um, kind of uh, cross symbol on the front, which essentially is like the medic symbol. So you know this is kind of um, medicine. You could even use this if you were um, like myself, a diabetic, and you needed somewhere to put your glucometer and your lancet holder and your testing strips and band-aids and gauze and alcohol pads. So it opens on that side. You got the PVC pocket here, and then you have two um, net pockets here. If you wanted to use this for anything else, you know, you definitely could. It does have a pink zipper pull as well as um, pink zipper track. So super cute. Can't wait to move my items over from the pouch they're in into that. You guys heard me talk about that small pill case in my um, catch-all pouch, how things keep opening um this one i picked up of course because it's got those beautiful purple flowers on it but the type of opening that it has like that i figured this might be safer so we will find out when i do purple setup i will definitely put this in there put my on the go pain meds in here and see if it you know actually stays closed and then i also found another one which is similar to the current one in my bag um it's just solid gold so sorry blinding you guys it's solid gold it's essentially the exact same size as the one that's currently in my bag but i will say when you push this you can feel it let go this one is definitely tighter to open it so i'm hoping that means it keeps it closed a lot better as well so i love that one it's all gold it'll go with everything this little cutie is a travel um, spray bottle, but it just looks fancy. I thought this was beautiful. It looks like a crystal piece. It does have a gold um, top for the spray bottle. So you fill it up with whatever you like and then you'll have some spray on the go. So I did buy this to put in my um, catch-all pouch in my bags for my setups over there and then I thought this larger one was just beautiful I thought this would just look really pretty sitting on my actual dresser um, or even if I wanted to fill it up with some stuff and then take it to work and set it on the desk and leave it on the desk at work I could do that it also has a top that comes off and then it has a gold um, spray top as well the other cool thing I like about this type of stuff you guys ever want to like let me see how do I describe it like have your own scent like of course we all love Bath and Body Works and you know we love strawberry pound cake we love the vibrant the gorgeous the gingham all that fun stuff pear glaze from Victoria's Secrets the champagne and toast all that fun stuff but you ever kind of wonder like what you would smell like or have you ever I've been doing it for years my sister too but have you ever mixed different sprays to kind of get your own scent I love doing that so these bottles would be really cool for that because I can mix in some of those different scents and kind of shake it up and then have my own scent so that is why I picked those two up these you are probably going to look at them and think what in the holy heck is that why does this one look so cloudy it almost looks like it has a film on it I don't know anyway these I forget what it was even called let me hold up one at a time. I forget what it was even called, but I found these on Sheen. Again, this is a Sheen haul. Um, these essentially attach to the wall. So this part attaches to the wall. 
I think I'm going to use command strips to attach mine. Um, so it's easily removable if I need to move it. But anyway, it's a hook for you to hang scrunchies or anything that essentially needs an extra spot to hang. You can stick it to the wall and leave it standing up like so and then place whatever you want down here. I plan to place mine on the wall like this and what goes on it is going to go from the side. I bought these because I am kind of sort of running out of space for where I hang my um, bracelets and anklets on my jewelry wall in my um, closet. So I bought this so that I can actually hang them there. So two of those, I think they were like a dollar each. You guys have seen me wear this band. The box is kind of jacked up, but you have seen me wear this watch band for a couple of uh, videos. It does come with the screen cover. Um, but after a while, when you continue to put your, your, you know, the hook in here, the sides of the strap start to rub a little bit. And then of course, some of the little bling glitter comes off. So I ordered another one just in case. I do want to put that band on again because I actually really, really, really like that one. So I ordered another one. So I'll have it in my collection. This is like cord organizers. I thought they were gonna be soft like silicone. I mean, they're not rock hard, but they're not super soft like I thought they were. But essentially, this is a cord organizer. I'll take one out and show you. You know how you take like your um, charger cords and stuff and you like loop them together and put them inside of something, you know, to travel? So this is something that you essentially would put the cords through here to keep them held together so once you loop them however you do it you know some people just go in a circle some people go back and forth however you do it once you get it looped you essentially would just slide this on there and it kind of of course opens up in the middle so like that so you would just put this over the cord if I had a cord near me I would show you guys let me see I guess I could use like the bag but you essentially are just gonna slide the cords in the middle come on man get in there so it'll be like that and it'll hold your cords together. So I have something similar to this, but it's kind of like a snap. Um, but they're also kind of tiny. So sometimes when you have a thicker bundle of cord, it doesn't go over very well. So I bought these um, to kind of help with um, Mally and Ken and Jazz's cords um, for travel. I don't really need it because I have that new flat contraption, but that is that. Now these pieces, they were individually wrapped and each one came with one of these. I'm not real sure what it is. It did not have any directions. If I had to guess, you probably peel one of these sides, if not both, and it's probably sticky under here, but I don't know how secure this would be for, you know, kind of charm bracelets and um, dangle beaded bracelets. So I'm probably going to use a command strip on here instead because those suckers hold. Listen, if you have not used command strips before, they hold like nobody's business. I use them for all kinds of stuff without even needing to use the hook that they come with. I literally would just use the sticker part. I will peel off both sides, stick it to the wall, and put whatever I need on it. Pictures, post posters, anything, y'all. Then I picked up two of these. And essentially, it looks like a purple key. It can go on your key holder with the opening right there at the top, both sides. It does come in a lot of colors. I actually ordered a black one for Jazz, a pink one for my sister, and then I ordered two purple ones for me. One to go in my main key holder, and then one to go in the key holder that I um, I keep Ken's um, truck key in. So essentially, it looks like a key, but it's actually a weapon, and I feel like I'm holding it backwards, so I have to get used to the way that it comes out. Um, but it is actually a weapon. I wish it was a push button. I feel like you're gonna have to be really quick at pulling that out you're gonna have to be ready ready and I feel like if you practice a little bit just like with anything else using your taser your pepper spray your nine millimeter whatever your you know your firearm you'll get used to it but essentially this is a knife so that you do have an extra level of protection with you it's right inside of your keys so again I wish this had a um, push button like the one Jazz keeps in her car she just pushes it comes right out um, I think that would be so much greater but the fact that it's compact and it looks like a key you would never think that it is what it is. And that's really what I loved about it. So like I said, I grabbed two. So I can put one in each of my key holders. And that is it, you guys. My sheen bag is empty. So not too long of a video, I hope. <laughs> I just wanted to come on here real quick and show you guys what did come in um, from Sheen Biggies and then my other Coach SLG items. So that's everything for now. Like I said, I think I have three more SLGs to come. This is all for my first order. Didn't have to do no more extra shopping. And then the sneaker replacement, the size 10 sneakers um, are of course due to come in. And then that's it, you guys. That is everything from all my shopping. Now my job is to go sit down. That's my job. So that is the plan. 
wish me luck send me some some happy no shopping prayers <laughs> and i will see all you guys in the next video bye